Okay, um, I'm going to draw a tree, a nice simple tree. It's going to have, um, it's going to be a tree in, in winter, so it's not going to have any leaves on it. Um, and I'm going to show, show, start it. It's going to, the tree I'm about to draw probably will look a lot different. Um, and because however your tree turns out is up to you. Now, got an A4 piece of paper. This is how to get a straight line. If I've got a, a paper cutter. So I'm going to now draw my tree. Right. I'm going to think about the base, about this far down the picture. Might be it there. And then I'm going to have a wiggly old line. Wiggly old line coming down. And that's going to be the base. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is going to go up about halfway. Now I'm going to draw another line down, but notice that the trunk gets wider. So the first line I drew really quickly, but this line I took my time because I want that trunk to be wider. It's a little bit thicker there. Look. That's um, let's just add a little branch coming out once. Ended up being a stump now, and um, that's going to go off. Um, what I'm going to do is now come down from the top there. It's going to get wider. Can't have it wider than this because what's happened there is the branch is split. The trunk is split. I mean, when I get to a bit there, because that's going off that way, I can split the trunk and get a split that branch again. If I want to go up, I can split that branch again. In fact. Right in the back there, there was a branch. There's going to be a branch coming out, and then I can go off like that. It can go behind that one. You can split again. Each time I split, the branch gets smaller. So, but as the branch comes in, it gets thicker. Now. Um, I'm going to put some shading on here. So the light's coming in from this side and it's casting a shadow on one side of the tree. So I'm going to make the tree look a little bit 3D. In fact, I can actually get like a little twist in the tree by putting some lines in there, growth lines from the bark, where it's a gnarly old tree. I noticed from looking at trees before that those knots they get turned over the the bark there that line there if I want to hide the fact that I actually added on a branch later that I could just put some shading on that now into these branches I'm going to have smaller branches twigs they're going to be like wispy ones so the pen is hardly touching the paper. Now I am drawing with a fine liner because it shows up on the video. You do not have to draw with a fine liner. A biro is a really lovely object to draw with because you can push down and get darker lines. Um, with the biro you can get a little bit of a darker line there. Look. But it's a lot easier with a biro. So a biro is good to draw with. They do fade though over time if you put them in the window or something like that. Um, of course you can draw with a pencil if you're like rubbing out and altering things. But no need to because a tree can be any shape. I mean I could have a little branch coming out there if I want. Up to me because it's my tree. And if you find that you've drawn a trunk and it's not got thicker you can thicken it. Uh, here I'm going to put a little root stuck up there. Okay, the old classic is you put a root and you leave a little gap, a little white gap. So, as if you could see through the root. And there's going to be some little foliage growing up there. And there's going to be a little lone leaf that managed to survive the winter just on the top. And those lines are going to be wispy coming out. Now, obviously, because the trunk's all gnarly, that can 
reflecting the branches as well. It's quite easy to add a branch on the, the darker side of the tree because you don't have to worry about the line because if you draw a line there you get a little where your previous line was you can see like you added it but that's okay it doesn't matter what your tree's going to look like you can have branches more branches out one side less out the other because it's your tree and that's how to draw a tree now in the next one i'm going to show you how to draw a tree in a landscape now you can see the original tree that i had a practice on before i started this looks nothing like that because however your tree turns out is up to you okay